Breast cancer is one of the best examples in oncology of how early detection and targeted treatment have saved lives. Let's talk survival. Stage 1 breast cancer, 5-year survival is over 95%. Stage 2 still very high, around 90%. Stage 3 more serious, but many are cured. Stage 4 lower, but improving every year with new treatments. These are population numbers, but they reflect real progress. If you or someone you love is facing a diagnosis, don't stop at asking what stage it is. Also ask what type it is. What receptors do I have? What's the grade? Because it's not just about the size of the tumor, it's about the whole picture. And that picture has never looked more hopeful than it does today. Breast cancer staging is not a label for fear. It is a roadmap for action. I'll never forget one of my patients who said, when I heard stage two, I thought it meant I had two years to live. That's not what stage means. A stage is not a countdown clock. It is a classification system to guide the treatment. Another patient told me, I didn't want to tell anyone my stage because I felt branded by a number. We need to change that conversation. A stage is not your destiny. It's just one piece of information. Biology matters. Respond to treatment matters. And above all, people are not statistics. But here's the problem. Most people, even many who live through cancer, don't fully understand what stage really means. Today, I want to change that. Staging is like the map doctors use to guide a treatment. It tells us how big the cancer is, where it has spread, how serious it is. But here's the truth. Staging is not just about anatomy anymore. In breast cancer, we now look at the biology of the tumor too. That's what we call prognostic staging. So let's break it down. The classic system, TNM, or anatomical staging, is that uh, for decades, breast cancer was staged using three simple words, TNM. T is for tumor, how big is the tumor in the breast? N is for lymph nodes, has the cancer spread to the lymph nodes under the arm? And M is for metastasis, has it spread to distant organs like bone, liver, lung? From this, we grouped cancers into stages zero through four. Let's talk through them. Stage zero, or DCIS, is non-invasive. Cancer cells are still locked inside the, the, the ducts. Stage one are small invasive cancers, less than two centimeters with no lymph nodes. Stage two are larger tumors, or those that have spread to a lymph node. Stage three are larger or more extensive tumors, or spread to many lymph nodes, or spread to the chest wall, or skin. Stage four, the cancer has spread outside the breast and lymph nodes to other organs. That's the classic system, clear, simple, based on anatomy. But not all breast cancers behave the same. Two women could have a two centimeter tumor with no lymph nodes. Both would be stage one, but if one tumor is fueled by estrogen and responds well to hormone blocking therapy, while the other is triple negative and more aggressive, the outcomes can be very different. This is why anatomy alone is not enough. Today we use a more advanced system that combines anatomy with biology. This includes hormone receptor status, like estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, HER2 status, tumor grade, how aggressive the cells look under the microscope, sometimes even genomic tests that predict recurrence risk. By layering biology on top of anatomy, we get a clearer picture. For example, a small stage one cancer that is triple negative may be treated more aggressively. A larger stage two uh, cancer that is estrogen receptor positive and HER2 negative may be less threatening and it's low grade and slow growing. This is what we mean by prognostic staging. It's not just how big or how far, but also how the cancer behaves. Now let's clear up one of the most common confusions, a stage versus grade. Stage tells us where the cancer is, the size, the spread. Grade tells us how the cancer cells look under the microscope, whether they are calm or aggressive. Think of stage as the geography of the cancer. Think of grade as its personality. A low-grade cancer looks almost like normal breast cells, slow-growing. A high-grade cancer looks like wild and disorganized 
and is usually fast growing. So a cancer can be early stage but high grade or late stage but low grade. Both matter. I'll give you an example. Two women, both 55 years old, both have two centimeter tumors in the breast. Woman's ACE tumor is stage one, low grade, estrogen receptor positive, HER2 negative. With surgery, radiation, and hormone pills, her chance of cure is over 95%. Now, woman's B tumor is also stage one, but high grade, triple negative. Even though it's the same size, we know this type tends to grow faster and spread earlier. So she may need chemotherapy even at stage one. Same stage, different biology, different treatment plan. That's the power of modern staging. When cancer has spread outside the breast to other organs, we call it stage four or metastatic breast cancer. This is not considered curable with today's treatments, but it is very treatable. And people can live for years with metastatic breast cancer thanks to modern therapies like targeted drugs, immunotherapies, and better supportive care. This is where the line between cure and control is most important. Even though stage four is not curable, many women live meaningful, full lives for a decade or longer. The future of staging is even more personalized. We are moving beyond just TNM and receptors to genetic fingerprints of tumors. Tests like Oncotype DX, and mama print, for example, help decide whether chemotherapy is necessary. These don't change the stage, but they change the treatment plan, and that's what matters to most patients. The dream is to be able to say the specific cancer in this specific woman will or won't come back. We're not there yet, but we're closer than ever. So here's what uh, I want you to remember about staging. A stage tells us where the cancer is. Grade tells us how it behaves. Biology tells us how to treat it. Stage may describe the cancer and it does not define the person. As treatments advance, as research grows, we are moving closer to a future where every stage carries not just numbers, but new chances, new hope, and new life. Thank you for listening.